Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cybersecurity Ethical Hacking Web Series. Hope you are all doing good. Today I'm going to list out the top most internet search engines used by hackers. Ah, we all understand what search engines on the internet are and how they work. But what if you require access to data that isn't typically available on those well-known search engines? During OSINT, reconnaissance, detecting vulnerabilities and other security-related activities, security professionals or hackers sometimes need to swiftly look up and correlate data. We have evaluated and compiled a list of the top search engines frequently used by security experts and hackers. 1. Shodan Shodan is the first logical pick because it is referred to as both the search engine for hackers and the world's first search engine for internet-connected devices. We mean any type, including traffic lights, webcams, routers, servers, smart TVs, refrigerators, and a huge variety of other devices are indexed by the Shodan search engine. Imagine using Google, but on Shodan you see results in a variety of formats, such as IP addresses, device types, countries, and of course SSH, Telnet, and HTTP server banners, instead of the typical images next to various websites and their content. By giving insight to their devices and open ports and even looking for device vulnerabilities to some well-known exploits, the defender's use of Shodan can be quite beneficial. In essence, blue teams may discover devices that need to be secured and retrieve OSINT data. Shodan assists penetration testers and red teams with reconnaissance and information collection at the same time, even going so far as to find security holes in target devices. 2. Census Census is right adjacent to Shodan. Both monitor every internet-connected device, and Census delivers data and collects reports on how devices, websites, and certificates are configured and deployed in the form of a search engine. Along with facts on open ports, protocols, and valid certificates, Census continuously gathers data from linked devices and internet servers. Additionally, it identifies routers, OS versions, server versions, unpatched vulnerabilities, and more. 3. Grey Noise The third place finisher, Grey Noise, is the exact opposite of Shodan and Census in that it not only tells you who is scanning the internet using the aforementioned benign scanners, but also more dangerous ones like Bartnet's hunting for weak points in devices. Grey Noise wouldn't be of interest to everyday internet users, as the internet's background noise doesn't affect them at all. But for security professionals working for organizations that own thousands of IP addresses and in general have large networks, Grey Noise is the perfect search engine. It helps filter out the security alerts coming from all sites, not allowing meaningless internet background noise to interfere with security operations in the SOC. 4. ZoomEye ZoomEye, often known as the cyberspace search engine, is an IoT OSINT search tool that enables users to locate connected devices. It searches for internet-connected devices using SMAP and WMAP, compares fingerprints to all information discovered, and allows users to access the curated data from exposed devices and services. ZoomEye functions as a search engine where you can either input a simple query or browse devices and services that the engine has previously indexed. Among its numerous features, ZoomEye will provide you with a vulnerability report if you enter any query, an IP address, device, or just a keyword. 5. Hunter Hunter is a search engine that aids in locating all of the email addresses associated with a domain or company. It is as straightforward as they come. You can enter a company name to get a detailed list of verified emails that are registered under that domain, their activity, and the public sources where the address was found. You can start email accounts using the found emails, perform these activities in bulk, and even check on an email address's deliverability. 6. WeGLE WeGLE is a wireless network mapping search engine. In fact, a map that when zoomed in, reveals hotspots and adjacent networks is the first thing you see when you enter the WeGLE interface. By combining the location and details of wireless networks into a central database that is accessible via desktop and web interface, it does this. 
We Jiali is used by security experts to check for any unsecure networks and determine whether they are open to cyber attacks. But, common users can utilize We Jiali to discover open networks nearby. 7. Public www. Have you ever wanted to search for websites based on their source code? Well, there is a search engine that indexes source codes, and it's public www. Just enter an HTML, JS or CSS code into the search engine and it allows you to find alphanumeric snippets, signatures or keywords within the code. Security professionals can use public www to discover sites that are part of malware campaigns by querying libraries used in the campaign and find which sites are affected. 8. Have they been pwned? Now, have they been pwned is a service even everyday internet users should be checking periodically. In order to stay safe while browsing the internet, it's important to ask ourselves, have our accounts ever been affected by the numerous security breaches we hear about? Has any of our private data been compromised? Anyone can type in their username or email address and see if they have been pwned. 9. Pipple. The people are a starting point for OSINT. For instance, if you wanted to undertake a spear phishing assessment, you would need to gather as much information as you could about the people involved. Search results for individuals might provide a wealth of information about them. Pipla is one such search engine for this purpose. Pipla is the authentic people search engine, used by governmental organizations, top financial and insurance institutions, and media businesses worldwide. It offers thorough contact information regarding a specific individual by interacting with searchable, public databases and retrieving pertinent data from public sources in the deep web. That's all for today guys. Hope this video helps. We publish episodes to this series every week. To stay up to date and aware of such cyber risks, and learn about more hacking tools, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe and bell button on the top right corner of the page. Thanks for watching, see you soon.